Yes. Amen. 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 Matter of fact, if he's still bringing me out, he can still bring you out. Amen. Proverbs 24, 16 says, For through, for though, through the righteousness, though the right, for though the righteous fall seven times, they rise again. The righteous now. Those who want to live right and those who want to walk upright, you might fall how many times? Yeah. They do what? Right. 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 To get back up. Yes. You might fall. Anybody here ever got back up? Amen. Yes. Yes. I know I'm asking a lot of questions in testimonies, right? Uh -huh. But this is all right, is it not? Amen. 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 Yeah, I fall. Amen. It's good when you be in church and you, the word of God make you honest with God. Yes. I'm the righteous of God, but I fail. Yeah, exactly. I yeah. And a lot of folks think that people in the church can't fall. Come on, man. Amen. Amen. They think, well, you can't fall. Mm -hmm. right. But you can. But the issue is, if you love God, you will get back up. Yes, right. amen. amen. Say, God, I'm sorry. Lord, forgive me. Have mercy on me. Yes. And the people in the church who love you, when you go to fellowship, they ought to put the arm around you. Amen. Yeah, I still love you. Amen. Ain't nothing changed. Amen. Amen. All right. Uh, Hebrews 12, uh, verse chapter 12, verse 12, verse 12 to 13 says, Take a new grip with your tired hands. Mm -hmm. Strengthen your weak knees. Mm -hmm. Mark out a straight path for, for your feet. So that those who are weak and lame will not fall, but become strong. Amen. In other words, this scripture is telling you to get yourself together. Yeah. Uh, come on, man. Get a new strategy. Uh -huh. Back up and start over again. Somebody say amen. Stop yeah. complaining about how you who you are, really you feel. Well. Then get yourself together. Somebody say amen. Stop yeah. all the pity party, the crying, the moaning, the groaning. Get yourself together. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Says so take a new grip with your hands, your tired hands. Uh -huh. Strengthen your weak knees. Yes. I know you're tired. I know you're weary. I know you're beat down. But 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 set a new path. Yeah. For your feet, so that those who are weak and lame will not fall. Don't make other folk fall because you act a fool. People are looking at you. People are watching you. People heard your testimony. People see you go to church. People see you trying to live right. Thank God that you messed up. Get yeah. yourself together. Yeah. People are watching you. Yeah. And if you don't make it, others are not going to make it. Clap yeah. your hand. You got to praise it. Number five, one more, we got done. We doing good. Our patient God comfort us when we are discouraged. How many of you got like you wanna just give up? Shake, you shake your head, Amen. you throw your head in the air, I'm tired. Now I'm tired, I don't try, I don't talk, I don't gain, I don't done this, and I now nah, I'm, I'm done. Now I'm through. I'm done. Yes. You ever tell somebody you threw with them? Amen. Praise God. When you fool with somebody, you, you see everything wrong with them. Amen. Am I saying amen? Amen. Our patient God comfort us when we are discouraged. Lord, have mercy. Yes. 2 Corinthians 1, in verse 3 and through 4, says, Pray be to God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of what? Compassion. Compassion. Yes. And the God of what? All comfort. Who comfort us with? All our trust. All our mercy. Wouldn't you think God will comfort us when we're doing well? Yeah. Somebody say amen? amen. But God said, I'll comfort you when you're in trouble. Yeah. You need God ahead of that. Yeah. 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 When things are going well, Pastor Jones, amen. We, we, we don't really, we, we, don't, we, we don't think about God and what he's doing. We just rejoice because everything's going well. Yes. But when we want to rejoice and when God comfort, you need comfort from God amen. when you're in trouble. Yes. So I say amen. Amen. Praise God, amen. Uh, you, you can't tell me about no shouting and all that kind of stuff when I'm in trouble. Amen. You can't tell me about no praise and all lift your hands when I'm in trouble. Uh -huh. I need God to comfort me during that time. Yes. So I say amen. amen. I need somebody to love on me. I need somebody to put the arm out and tell me it's going to be all right. Amen. 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 Uh, last one. Amen. Uh, our patient God values diversity. Mm. Yes. Our patient God values yeah. diversity. Amen. Amen. That's why church, as you go somewhere, you leave here, and everybody trying to make you be like them. I got a message for you. One word. Run. Run. 
Amen. Say amen. amen. God made you uniquely as you are because God wants to use you. Uh -huh. And God loves diversity. Somebody say amen. amen. God loves you being like you are. Yes. Because you have fight to life and then being who you are. Somebody say amen. 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 Don't you ever let nobody go somewhere and somebody try to make you like everybody else. You got to dress like, act like, talk like, shout like. There's some of you tell what church they go to. Yes, Lord. Because where they shout. Amen. What they wear. I see some of y'all laughing because they don't tell the truth, right? Yep. Amen. Uh, but our operation, God values that freshly because God made you who you are. And God said you were wonderfully made. Wonderfully. And why do we spend so much time trying to make people like somebody, everybody like the, a saint? Right? But that don't make things. We wasted time. God loved diversity. He loved you being different. He loved me being different than Pastor Joe. He loved you know, I don't want you to be like Pastor Tom and Charles, and I don't want you to be like me. Amen. God made you who you are. Yes. Amen. We learn how to respect each other and how we each other are. Amen. Amen. Say amen. 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 Now, uh, uh, Colossians 3, 12 to 13 says, Therefore, as God chose the people, holy and do to be loved, Close yourself with what? Patience. 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 Bearing what? With others. In other words, put it with each other. Yeah, deal with it. Yeah, deal with it. Deal with each other. Be patient with one another. That's right. Amen. Amen. Don't try to make nobody like you. Yes. Amen. Be patient with them to be who they are. Amen. Let them be them. All of us say, let me be me. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And then love them as they are, that you will find out their uniqueness will be a blessing to you. Amen. Somebody say amen. Give God a hand for that. Their uniqueness will be a blessing to you. Amen. That's how they talk to each other. Somebody say amen. amen. That's why you should, you should not be going to be a clone of somebody else. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm just going to help somebody else. A, so that way you ain't got to try to be like nobody else. Be you. Aren't you love you? You come to fear God to be yourself. Amen. Amen. Am I say amen? amen. You can be yourself, praise God, and still love the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. Uh, practical tips. We close. This, this is it. Come on, say, this is it. This is it. Give God a hand, praise. Amen. amen. Practical tips to help you be patient with others. Number one, that's three, one, two, three, read. Recognize that patience is a choice for our feeling. Yeah, that's Amen. Number two, put space between your emotions and your reactions. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Number three, fill in with space with empathy. Always see the person in the problem. Amen. Empathy is amen to put yourself in place. Amen. Sympathy, praise God, when you feel sorry for you. Oh, no, no, baby. Empathy is, praise God, I know what you're talking about. I've been there. Yeah. I know what you're going through. Let me help you. Yeah. I know what you're going through. Amen. Sometimes you don't need compassion. Okay? Amen. Am, am I telling the truth? Right. I don't need you say I'm sorry. Oh, I still feel sorry for you. No, I need you, I need you to put yourself in my shoes. <laughs> All right? And see, sometimes we don't want to do that. Amen. We want to feel sorry for them, but we want to put ourselves in that place. Amen. Amen. Am I saying that? Amen. Amen. Uh, fill, fill in that space of empathy and always see the person in the problem. They ain't a problem, but see the person. Am I saying that? Amen. Number four, make a choice to never do what someone deserves. Let's read it together. Jesus. Some of y'all didn't want to read that. One, two, three. Make a choice to never do what someone deserves. Let me read it again. Make a choice to never do what someone deserves. One more again. Oh, make a choice to never do what someone deserves. Amen. I see some of y'all shaking your head and looking at me. Talking about the path you just don't know. Yeah, they deserve. They deserve what I'm about to put on them. I see some of y'all smiling, right? Yeah, buddy. Uh, make a choice. It's a choice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know you can give what they deserve. And they might need it. 
They might, they might need to get you there. They might need it. But make a choice. Make a choice. Because you're trying to be closer to God. Make a choice to never be what someone deserves. Because God did it to you. Yes. Some of the stuff we have done, uh, Sister William, Sister Veronica, some of the stuff that we have done, amen, God could have turned us out. Yes, he could have. Because we did some stuff. Amen. 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 But see, God made a choice to never do what someone deserves. Amen. Last one. 